Understanding the connections between different areas of a building is important in evaluating building performance. This can be done using a blower door assembly and a pressure gauge. In this video, this symbol represents a pressure gauge. The two dots represent input and reference ports. And the value is the measured pressure difference. Let's look at a very simple building. It is a single room, single story home with a crawl space and a cold attic. Depressurizing the building to minus 50 pascals results in a 50 pascal pressure difference across the building's exterior walls. If we measure the pressure difference between two places within the single room, the pressure difference should be zero. Ideally, if we measure the pressure difference between two areas during a blower door test, the results will be either zero pascals within the same zone, or 50 pascals, one area is inside and the other outside the building. Unfortunately, we often measure pressures somewhere between zero and 50. Measuring the pressure difference between two areas, or zones, of a building during a blower door test is called zonal pressure analysis. This test determines the degree of connectedness between two zones of a building. If we record a value between 0 and 50 pascals during zonal pressure analysis, then the boundary between the two zones is a leaky one. The extent of the leakage depends on the recorded value. For example, we are running the blower door and we want to see how connected the crawl space is to the interior and to the exterior of the building. If we measure the house with reference to the crawl space and we record a pressure difference of minus 25 pascals, we can say that the crawl space is equally connected to the interior and exterior of the building. If we measure the house with reference to the attic and record a value of minus 40 pascals, we can say that the attic is connected to both the house and the outside, but it is more connected to the outside. This type of information is important for developing a weatherization or retrofit strategy for a building. Let's look at some real examples. Now we're going to set up for some diagnostics around the building. Uh, we're going to look at partition walls. We're going to look at the house uh, to uh, attach zone connections. We're going to set up the manometer. Uh, we'll, we'll initially set up to the configuration we believe that the blower door should be set up for. We'll run a baseline uh, pressure measurement. And then we'll turn the blower door up, get it to a, a minus 50 pascal pressure difference between inside and outside, and then we're going to go around and start showing some of the diagnostics. Although I encourage thorough zonal pressure investigations in buildings, you should at no time insert a pressure probe into an electrical box or panel that may contain exposed wiring. Now to prevent damage, or injury, you should insert the probe between the electrical box and the surrounding sheetrock whenever you're dealing with a switch or outlet box or an electrical panel. So when you're inserting the probe into the wall between the, the box and the sheetrock, make sure that before you take any pressure readings that you remove the probe and inspect it to make sure that there isn't any debris from the sheetrock or anything else in the wall uh, clogging the probe and then reinsert the probe and go ahead and take your measurement. Floor door still running. 
house with reference outdoors minus 50. We're checking this partition wall to see how it connects uh, perhaps to the uh, crawl space and to the attic. Remove the cover plate, sort of static probe. Almost all indoors, but not quite. So we're going around looking for areas that we could prioritize air sealing. Again, we've got the house uh, with a blower door running, house of reference outside, minus 50 pascals. We checked the partition uh, wall downstairs. It was mostly indoors. It was four pascals of pressure difference between the main body and the interior of the uh, partition wall. Now we've gone up to a, a top story, and now 10 pascals. This wall is much more connected to the outdoors compared to the partition wall we just checked previously. You know, as we looked at, as we picked a wall downstairs looking at the diagnostics, that was a very tall wall, so it probably had fire blocking it since it was greater than 10 feet in uh, height. Now we've come to a, a partition wall, it's still uh, probably less than 10 feet, doesn't have fire blocking, but has uh, the geometry of the other side of this wall connecting to a flat vented ceiling. And on this side, we have a vaulted ceiling. And again, uh, we're four-fifths of the way indoors, but this is a much leakier and it's going to have a, a more uh, priority as far as air sealing. And here we have a door from the house to the garage. The exterior door, it's got a threshold, it's got weather stripping, so that now we have a, uh, the capability to have a better environmental separator between this space and the attached garage space. We have the house depressurized to minus 50 pascals. We're now going to check the boundary between the house and the attached garage. If it's minus 50 between the house and the garage, it's completely outdoors. If it's zero between the house and the garage, it's completely indoors. We're using a stainless steel probe. So now we're roughly about a half in, half out boundary here. Now we're going to check how the mechanical room is with reference to the house. We just checked the house to the garage. That was half in, half out. The mechanical room is much closer to all indoors as compared to the wall we just had six feet away. That was half in, half out. This is almost all indoors now. We still have the door door running. We've got a negative pressure of minus 50 pascals with the house with reference outdoors. We've now put a static probe from the house behind this new boot and into the condition crawl space. And we're now reading house with reference to crawl space. See, this is going to be a lot like the mechanical room. It's all the same. So, why is it better than most of the